broccoli. Welcome to Pins and Things. Today we're going to be making this disgust costume from Disney Pixar's Inside Out. What you're gonna need is two extra, extra large t-shirts, one small shirt that's form-fitting, and we're also gonna need some green thread, measuring tape, scissors, a pencil, blue and white paint, a paintbrush, and a sewing machine. We're gonna do the skirt part of this dress exactly the same way that we did Joy's dress. So we will be showing you with a yellow shirt even though we will really be making it with green. First thing I'm gonna do is cut the sleeves off and make them a little bit shorter. And now I'm just gonna take this and to match it up on the other side, I'm gonna put it on top and cut it off in the exact same way, just like that. On both of your extra, extra large shirts, you're going to take your scissors and cut off one of the sleeves. Now that you've taken off the sleeve, come to the bottom, wear the sleeve. We're gonna drag this and bring it all the way across like that. I've matched this seam of the bottom of the shirt to the seam on the shoulder here. 23 inches is the length that we're gonna go for with our skirt. And up here, it's about five and a half inches of length right here. So that's where you need to have it folded to. And I'm gonna take a pencil and start marking where my skirt is. And I'm gonna hold my thumb here and just pivot the tape and mark it up as I go. I have to make one more mark right here because this we will need to hem up to this point and this will be where we have our waist. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut where I've just marked. So now we have one more thing to do and it's take the measuring tape from this corner all the way down here and we're gonna draw a line or just cut it. And I think I'm just gonna cut it. Once you've got it all cut, you're gonna take it and you're gonna flip it the opposite direction. Hold it together. Now we're gonna need the mark that we made at the top. So this is the mark that we made. We're just gonna bring it from this side and put it on this side so we can see it too. And we're gonna measure about four inches down from the part where we made the cut. And we are going to make a seam to clean up this edge here. Now I'm gonna go sew along that line. So we've taken my measurements for my waist and we've split it into four and that is eight inches. And so we have eight inches right here and that is the part. You can see what we've just done. Stitched it up back there to make it go all the way to the right length. The eight inches is gonna go right here. So eight, eight, and then another eight and another eight. And that's why this part has to be eight inches. So whatever your waist is divided by four, that's the length that you're gonna have not stitched up to. We've made sure to go back and forth with a big zigzag and at zero with the stitch length so that it just kind of stops the seam from going any further right there. So that's gonna hold on really tight. Now that we've stitched it up, we're gonna cut off the extra fabric right here without touching the seam that you've just made. And that will just make it lay better. So I've done the exact same thing to both of my extra large shirts. And now we're gonna make sure that whatever side the label is on is going to be on the inside of the skirt. So both of the labels you can see are showing out and we're gonna stitch on this side so that on the front you can't see the label at all. So we're gonna pin this part together and go ahead and stitch it up. To make the shirt fitted, I've just gone ahead and pinched on either side of my shirt. Making sure that it's even on both sides, I've just gone ahead and pinned either side. You do want your seam to be on the inside of your shirt. So make sure that your shirt is inside out. I made sure and took it off very carefully so as to not poke myself. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and stitch it up. Now that I've sewn up the edges, there is extra material you can kind of see, but that will be trimmed off. And then next, we're going to sew up these edges and on this side of the skirt, and then we'll be attaching it at the waist. So technically, you could leave it at this and just have it not even be attached because it's just the perfect length and the perfect stretchiness that it's like holding itself there. But I want to make it a little bit more sturdy. I'm just going to stitch it up on the middle, right where I want it to be at my waist. So for attaching the skirt, I have measured up three inches so that it will be right at my waist where I want it to be. Marked it all the way across and cut it off. And this, guess what we can use this for? A belt on Disgust's costume. So now we're gonna take the skirt here, which actually had some points at this point, and I just made sure it was level all the way across. And now we're gonna pin it to the bottom of the t-shirt and be done once we sew it. Ta-da! Here's the dress! 
Yes, all done. Now all we need to do is paint it. So we're using a potato stamp to make the pattern on this dress. And this is a carved potato, so it's flat. There are toothpicks between it to hold it together. We've carved underneath to make the pattern, in, and then the pattern is just raised on top. Kind of dug out the potato where the pattern isn't, and so the pattern stands out. And now all you need to do is put your paint on your pattern, place your pattern where you want it, and we're gonna cover the whole dress. And then to make sure that it's just exactly the right pattern and to fix it if it doesn't quite go everywhere you want, just take your paintbrush and fix the little spots. And I have paper underneath here to keep it from bleeding through to the other side. And we're gonna layer the blue on top of the white. To make the belt for disgust, we just took the bottom of the shirt that was trimmed from Joy, and this is going to be her belt. And basically, we just put it on inside out, put it on inside out and pinned it to her waist size. Stitched up the sides and it's her perfect size for a belt for her. So that's all done and it will just go over the dress. Didn't it turn out amazing? So the paint is dry, everything is done. We actually cut this belt off from the bottom of my shirt, if you can remember, and we've just put it on the waist of here and it looks great. We also added a little pink scarf. We added in some pink shoes and some green leggings and then a green wig to top it all off. And we got that online at AliExpress. <laughs> so I hope you liked this video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Also, you can follow me on The Beach House, my daily vlogging channel, or Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Stay tuned for all of the other costume tutorials for Inside Out on Pins and Things, my channel here, and they will all be out soon. We'll see you guys next time. Yeah. <laughs>